Hey, hoteliers, are you frustrated by your property management system causing more headaches than solutions? Let's dive into how you can optimize your PMS for clearer financials and smoother operations. First things first, what is a PMS? You might know it as Fosse, OnCue, Opera, Roommaster, Stay in Touch. Essentially, these are reservation systems that handle all your guest transaction data. Think of it as the front line of your hotel's accounting system. Setting up your PMS system correctly is crucial. A good setup ensures you have all the information you need to keep tabs on your hotel's finances. Without it, your financial statements may not reflect the true picture, making it tough to make informed decisions. And you'd think, since it's so important that all PMS vendors would have a detailed and effective implementation process and include all the details that a hotel needs, but they don't. It's on you to pick one that will work for your hotel and make sure it's set up effectively. To get a detailed profit and loss or P&L statement, your PMS needs to capture every detail. If you wanna know how well your market beer is selling, then that level of detail must come from your PMS. If it doesn't, your financial statements won't show that either. You should know how your daily activities and reports integrate into your accounting system. For instance, the daily balancing equation, your revenue plus non-revenue should equal your settlements plus your changes in hotel ledgers. A solid PMS will track all of this seamlessly. Remember, your hotel ledgers like guest ledger, a list of people currently in your hotel and what they owe, your advanced deposit ledger, a list of people who've paid before staying, and your accounts receivable or city ledger, a list of people who've already stayed and are being sent a bill later, usually corporate groups, must be part of your PMS. They capture crucial data that goes into your financial statements. You need to know who owes you money. It's vital that your PMS can export all of your activity, market stats, revenue, taxes, changes in ledgers, to your back office accounting system. This makes sure your profit and loss statements are accurate. Your PMS should allow for both manual export and automatic import of data. This dual capability ensures nothing gets overlooked and your bottom line becomes a whole lot easier. Make sure your PMS can generate detailed reports. This helps you pull the granular data you need for comprehensive P&L statements. One hotel that came to us had $35,000 categorized as miscellaneous income one month, much to their confusion. It turned out various charges were incorrectly lumped into one account within the PMS. This wouldn't have happened if the reports had provided the needed granularity. These accounts can be added later if you currently have big general buckets of revenue that need to be broken down, but it's much easier to do on the front end when the PMS is being set up originally. When setting up a PMS or switching to a new one, clearly define responsibilities. Who's closing out the day's accounts? Who handles the night audit? Clarify the process for handling the night audit. Know the steps involved and who to contact if issues arise. Finally, ensure your system handles taxes and tax exemptions correctly. These three areas will set you and your team up for success. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.